you guys go. That really worked out really well. Mm. Ah. Thirsty. Oh, God. So, we're going to open up this box from Triple Moon Phoenix Circle Shop. Um, I know this is a pricey box. This is $195. Uh, but, um, this box is full to the top, you guys. Super full. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and dive in this because I, I have to go to the grocery store. Uh, and I, 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 I want to get back so I can mess with all my magic stuff. I mean, I'm setting up my altar for Ostara and, um, I have... Things I'm getting together so that I can, you know, celebrate Ostara with my boys. So, I got things I gotta do. And I just wanna mess with all this. So, let's get into this and let's go. So, right on top, I see a whole bunch. A whole bunch. Of herbs. Herbs. So, we're gonna go through them. Um, I'm not gonna go too strong with them. But we do have St. John's Wort. So, we have that. We have... Uh, we have nettle, we have spearmint, we have chamomile, we have cleavers, mm, pretty sure I've heard of that, but I can't remember where. Um, we have some eucalyptus, we have some thyme, we have, ooh, we have some chili peppers, we could do some hoodoo, we won't. Uh, I, I don't believe in magical appropriation, uh, if it doesn't directly involve ancestors of mine. Um, and I can honestly say I don't have any, uh, ancestral practitioners of hoodoo. So, um, I can respect it as a path and a craft and a culture in itself. Um, but, uh, not my thing, just saying. Uh, but one of my, one of my good friends is a practicing hoodoo priestess. Uh, she grew up, her her boyfriend is Vodin, or Valden, and practices voodoo. Uh, but they are really, really nice people, and I love them stuff. So, okay, moving on. We've got caraway seeds. We have, oh, good lord. We have chaparral. We have cinnamon bark. We have uh, fenugreek seeds. Um, all right, I'm not going to hold each one of these up. This is a lot. Um, we have parsley. We have rosemary. We have lavender. Ooh, we have allspice. Uh, we have catnip. We have bone set. We have roses. We have white oak bark. We have mm, uh, mul mulene. Mulene, mulene. Um, mulene. We have strawberry leaf. We have sage, we have cloves, we have hibiscus, we have green tea, we have basil, we have lemongrass, peppermint, and jasmine. Oh, I have, I can make all the teas. So I'm just going to leave that in a pile right there. And I'm going to take a picture and post this when I'm done. Um, I'm not going to put this video on Instagram if I can't make make it stay. This is a big pile of, of herbs. So then let's see. Next thing we have, we have a dream catcher. I'm going to go ahead and open it and look at it. Oh, it's cute. Ah, oh, I love this. This is so pretty. So we do have uh, a little dream catcher from blue and it does have uh, a description of dream catchers, but look at that. It's pretty. I like it. And I don't have anywhere to put it. And you know what? If it's delicate, I'm going to put it right here so it doesn't get broken. Then we have, we have an incense burner like this. You put cone incense here and stick incense here. And that's pretty thick. It's nice. I like that. A nice little chunk. Put this down. Next we have, uh, looks like we have some incense and these look like they're a dram or maybe two drams. Uh, they're not very big bottles, but um, these 
particular ones. So we have uh, Liang Liang, we have peppermint, and we have frankincense. Um, so we do have them, and they're they're not very big. They're like an inch tall. Um, but those are some really strong incense. Um, so I'm really excited about those. Then we have, looks like we've got a couple of pieces of parchment, little bitty spell pieces, spell pages. Um, we have a large pink feather. I like it. It's hot pink. Like, that's gorgeous. I'm totally in love with that pink. Ah, all right. Then, uh, we're going to put that bag right there. Then we have, we have a blue velveteen bag with something in it. runes so we have like little stone runes they look painted or maybe they're wood they may be wood um but we do have a little rune set so i'm going to set that there and we have some anti-stress incense cones and that smells amazing just throwing that one out there am i not done with uh, no, we're not. So we have more. Um, these look like mostly flowers, though. Let's see what we have. So we have hibiscus. Oh, and it, on these, it gives you what they're for. Like love, lust, passion, divination, clairvoyance. We have corn flowers, psychic enhancement, love, fertility, sex, and abundance. We have roses for love, beauty, domestic peace, clairvoyance, and giving. We have chamomile for purification, red, love, rest, luck, just, uh, justice, and meditation. And we have jasmine for love, fortune, dreams, harmony, and protection. So we do have, like, and these are fat bags. These are thin bags, but you do get a decent amount. But these are fat bags. Big old fat bags. And there are five of them. So, I mean, that's awesome I'm, I'm in love with that that's so nice so nice all right and we have i don't know what this is but we're gonna find out can i get into it that's the better question okay set that aside might need it later what do we have here Okay, so we have some jars, empty jars, with corks on top. Wow, I mean, that's like a lot of stuff. And then we have, this is heavy, so let's find out what's in it. Guys, I am super excited about whatever this is. Oh. This is heavy. This one, this box is heavy. What are we? Oh, we're a cauldron! Oh, we're a cauldron! Oh, we're a little, with a lid and everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Got a triquetra on him. I'm sorry, I've been mostly looking down at this, but there's a lot here. Look at this. He is heavy. Like, that is some cast iron. I'm telling you. Okay. Oh my gosh. So much is going on with this. Then I have, looks like I have another jar. Try to open this up as best as I can. Oh. So it looks like a miniature mason jar. Just a normal jar. Uh, that you can make some sacred salts with for your bath. Um, for your, like one time use kind of things. And you can use some of your fresh flowers for that. So let's see. Oh my gosh. There is so much in this box. I did not expect this much. And I have barely even got through it. Um, here, it looks like we have some rough stones. So let's have a look at our rough stones. Ooh, oh. Oh, oh. So, I don't know what that is, but 
but that's pretty. Uh, let's see. I see a rose quartz, a clear quartz. I see some kyanite. This looks like rough howlite. That looks like some sodalite. That looks like emerald, maybe. Um, this looks like a piece of black agate. But look at these. They, I mean, and these are all rough. They're not tumbled. Um, oh, and that turned purple. That one looks like amethyst. But I would have to look and see. Um, I don't know what all these are when they're not tumbled. I have to see them for like their smooth form or geode form to be able to identify them. But we do get a bag of rough stones. So that's pretty incredible. Just saying. Moving on to our next thing here. So, oh, we have a, looks like a brass offering bowl with the triple moon. That is gorgeous. I love that. Oh my God. As I'm freaking out, I'm running with space on my desk. And I barely even got through anything. Um, and then right here, oh, actually looks like we have some bath salts with some flowers in it. Now, something, a trick I learned, you can actually take one of these kinds of um, sachets and bags. You can put the bath salts in here for your bath um, and you get all of the benefits of the uh, flowers and herbs and salt because the salt will dissolve into the water um, but you won't have to clean out your bathtub afterwards because this bag catches all the flowers so you do have little things that you learn but that's that's awesome it's a decent size bag too all right then we have what is this i don't know what this is. Athame. I do not have an athame. And this one is a wood handle one and it feels amazing. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. This, I'm so happy. And it's kind of dull, but not. So you, I mean, you could definitely stab something. All right, next. Oh, two things, because they kind of fell apart. So it looks like, um, I don't know if this would be an incense holder or not, but it is a metal um, pentacle. And it is like an altar tile, but it does have that little thing in the middle. I'm not sure what it's for. I'll have to look. Um, but metal that's really nice i like that and then we have we have a grimoire like a book of shadows leather in this so this is what it looks like and that's actually coming up more red than it looks it looks like more of a brownish in person but that that's probably his true color right there that we have I mean that is thick look at this all of it in here is <laughs> thick holy crap oh and it does smell like leather oh, of course it does that's amazing absolutely amazing Holy crap, I'm really running out of space to put all the things. And then, let's see, what are these? So we have, looks like we got some little bags so you can make little blends and stuff like that. You have little baggies for, or you can use them to go collecting for things for your own. And then, what is this? Oh, you guys, 
So I just opened Cures and Curses just a few moment, a few moments ago and got my first selenite wand. But guys, I have another selenite wand. <laughs> and this one's different. Um, the other one is raw. It's um, a, a square kind of shape. This one is round and it is bigger. And it is gorgeous. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if my camera will pick it up. Oh, yeah, it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. And then, ooh. So, I also get a, look at that. I got a rose quartz pendulum. That's beautiful. I actually have a raw amethyst pendulum. Um, and I have a polished rose quartz pendulum, but I, have, I don't actually have a raw quartz one, uh, a raw rose quartz one. Um, I have, what is it? Raw amethyst, polished rose quartz, and polished sodalite. So I now have two raw and two polished pendulums, and that is beautiful. Oh my God. Ah, I'm freaking out. And then, let's see, what is this? Florida water. Okay, guys, I'm going to admit this. I have seen this everywhere. I am aware that you can use it in spells and stuff. Um, but I don't even actually know what Florida water smells like. I'm not opening it. But I have some Florida water now. And nothing anybody can do to stop me. <laughs> All right, so i got to move that feather. i got to put this here. i got to put that there. i got to put the feather back. Oh, my God, I'm running out of space. All right, then I have another, oh God, that's heavy too. I got another big box. And I am, I have got to get me something that can open these boxes so much better. I got a heavy box of shredded paper. Let's see what we have here. Um, I don't know. Okay. I bet. This is a mortar and pestle. And it looks like it's soapstone. And it is heavy. I have I have a granite one. But I have a soapstone now. That's beautiful. Oh my god. And my cast iron guy. Oh, oh my god. So much stuff. I don't think you all appreciate how much space I am running out of. Running out of so much space. Of all of the items that I, I got in this box so far. Um, so far, I, got, I honestly can, I, I would say that this box is definitely worth it. And then I have another box. A real box. And then I've got stuff underneath it here. Alright, so we're gonna hang on. Move some of this stuff. And there is like detritus from all the things that I have already opened all over the floor. Gonna have to clean it. Alright, so uh it looks like I have it's looks like a triple moon altar cloth. I have I'm getting so many altar cloths for it lately. Um maybe I need to invest in more altars. Just saying. Um so uh I have one of the goddess pose ones. Um and I have a pentacle, plain pentacle, um, and then I have a fancy pentacle, and now I have what do I have? have a triple moon pentacle however you like oh, 
And yeah, upside down does not mean it's Satan worship or devil worship. No, 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 no. That is simply um, materialism. So get with it. But yeah, it just looks more appealing to me like this, I guess. That's the best way. But that's really pretty. So now I have, I, oh my gosh, I, I more altars. More altars. Um, then we have, we have pages. Um, pendulum language. Um, ah, I have an herb, herbs reference guide of all of the herbs that I've got here. And probably some that I don't because like some of these, like, uh, like arnica flowers, I didn't see in there. So this is nice. Um, and then we have, what do we have here? We have stones and crystal reference guide. <clears throat> Um, and this gives you some pretty good information on those. And then it looks like I've got a fire invoking a grimoire page. So, wow. Holy crap. There's so much stuff here. Like, I'm flipping out. So you're gonna set that there, and we're gonna, we're gonna put the altar cloth somewhere too. Oh Lord, I'm legitimately running out of space. I, I I'm, I'm losing it. Um, <laughs> so let's open this guy. So are we hinged? We are hinged. Okay. So it is a oh, it is a bar. And there's more stuff in here. So, let's see. So I have a little chime candle snuffer. And then I have this. I don't know what this is. Dragon Blood Ink. Holy crap, like. It's red. <laughs> Uh, and I've got several, ooh, they smell like vanilla. I've got four here of these little votive candles. Oh my God, I'm from this space. I've got a sage bundle. Ooh, that smells nice. And I have a Palo Santo sink. And I have a soapstone incense holder with pentacle on it. That's completely gorgeous. Set it there. Oh my god, guys, I have no space. Let's see, and I have a little bell with the triple moon on it. I don't know if you can see its edge. There it is. Oh, it's so little. Um, but it is a little bell, but that's fine. You don't need massive bells. Like, really, I don't understand why people do that. And we have, we have a pack of several colored chime candles. Oh my God. I am losing my mind. Okay. So I think that is it. That all of this come with this. Holy crap. Um, I would say that this is definitely worth the cost of 195 for this box. Um, this is an incredible amount of stuff. I can't explain how much stuff is in this. But you guys, I would definitely give Triple Moon uh, Phoenix. Is that that I want to make sure that's right? Yes. Triple Moon Phoenix Occult Shop. And it looks like they are based out of Florida. They are. They are based out of Miami, Florida. Um, and I have... I'm going to get their uh, information and I'm going to put it um, in the description box below or comments below. Um, but you guys, holy crap. Like, I'm going to take a picture of all of this together. This was worth it. Like, this is insane. And then on top of everything, you get this big box here that you can put stuff in. Let me show you what this is like. Like, that's the sage that was in there. 
and the whole box smells like peppermint. That's amazing. Um, I would give this two thumbs up, five star Yelp review. This is amazing. I did not expect this box to have this much stuff in it and I am freaking impressed. Like, I can't tell you how impressed. I appreciate you guys um, taking the time today to watch me open up boxes of witch stuff. Um, I am losing my mind with how much good stuff we're in the boxes of, of things I got today. Um, the, this was worth it. Um, both of these boxes, definitely worth it. Um, 100% would buy again for sure. Um, so until next time, you guys, uh, thank you so much and blessed be.